Do you want to become an absolute magnet around women? What's up, it's your boy Nahave. I don't know where you're watching this video from, but if you're not from London, you might not have heard of me. Since 2018, I've been helping men get dream results with women. And today I'm here to change your dating life. But in order to do that, I want you to subscribe to the channel because every Thursday, 5 p.m. London time, we're going to be releasing a new video just like this one. All right, let's get right into the video. Today I'm gonna to be giving you five daily exercises to do to boost your confidence around beautiful women. Number five is going to be the most important one out of all of them. So make sure that you stick to the end of the video because you do not want to miss that one out. Number one, approach five girls a day. I know that sounds like, oh my God, five girls, that's like crazy, that's too many. These are going to be very easy approaches. You don't have to stay in there for a long time. It could be indirect. It could just be asking directions. You know, are you afraid of going up to a girl and, and asking, uh, excuse me, where's Zara? That's not difficult, is it? So what I want you to do, start off really easy. If you're afraid of going up to a girl and telling her she looks nice, in the beginning, just do an indirect approach. Excuse me, where's Starbucks? Excuse me, where is Zara? Uh, excuse me, do you know where McDonald's is? You know, even though that is a little bit lame, but in the beginning, that's what you have to do to start to get used to it. These approaches, you don't really need to be approaching like the hottest girls. If you're nervous when you approach that hot, really hot girl, approach an average looking girl. Approach a grandma, approach a, a mom or whatever. You know, you don't even need to um, be like attracted to her. This is just to get you to overcome your fear in the approach and to slowly get you more and more confident in approaching and being around women. So yeah, if you're uh, like not really experienced in approaching women, then do the easier version, go in direct. If you're a little bit more experienced, you can actually uh, go in and do a direct a compliment or try to even go further, you know, go further in the conversation. Uh, if you are nervous or whatever, or if it's something you're doing for the first time, you could just go in, say your whatever you want to say and then get out of there. You don't need to stay there in the beginning. And your first approach is going to always going to be the most easiest one. And if you're getting more comfortable, you can make it more difficult for yourself. Number two, approach a girl only to get rejected. So what I want you to do is to go in and do the worst game possible. Now, I don't want you to do anything that will offend a girl. Uh, what I want you to do is what you believe is not a good game. So that could be you go up to her and say, excuse me, hi, can I invite you for a coffee another time? Something like that, that will get you rejected. And the reason I want you to do this is because I want you to start to familiarize yourself with being outcome independent. And what, what that does is it makes you more relaxed in the, in the interaction because you don't care about the results. Number three, out of the five approaches that you're gonna do, one of those has to be a direct approach. So what that means is you go up to her and you tell her she looks nice or she has a nice style or anything that's telling her that you are interested in her, uh, not as a friend. If you're very nervous in the beginning, if you're not comfortable in doing this, then that shows me or you that you're not very confident in expressing your intentions. And that's exactly what I want you to do this exercise. Number four. What I want you to do is, out of the five approaches that you do, one of the girls that you approach, I want you to close. That means you ask her on a date another time. So this is how I would say it. So you're in the middle of a conversation and you say, hey, listen, I actually have to go to meet a friend, but another time, I'd like to invite you for a coffee. Very simple. Okay, the reason I want you to do this one is because I want you to start to become a closer. You know, whether it's, it's in uh, your dating life, whether it's in business, in any part of your life, if you cannot close, you're not gonna get any results. And that's why I want you to keep practicing this at least once a day. All right, last but not least, number five. Do one social freedom exercise per day. So social freedom exercises are something that puts social pressure onto you. It could be, uh, approaching a girl in a very crowded place. It could be doing something out of the norm where um, you're doing something a little bit crazy, you know, nothing too extreme, but something that makes people look at you. 
So a couple of exercises I'm gonna give you that you could try. When you're walking in a, in a busy street, you could start to clap as you're walking. Uh, another one is you could put your hands behind your head and walk for like 20 meters. Another one could be in a park bench. Uh, you stand on the bench and you balance yourself on one leg. So you go like that and you just stand there for like a minute. Uh, another one is you go up to a girl and you say, uh, excuse me, I have to tell you something very important. Uh, and you just say that until she walks away. I actually, uh, I remember a few years ago I did that and the girl just wouldn't walk away. You know, I was like running out of breath. I was like, uh, <laughs> she just wouldn't leave. <laughs> anyway, uh, once you start doing these exercises, you're gonna find uh, a lot of funny things that happen. Uh, I had one client who did the park one where he balanced him, himself on the bench and two other guys came in, like random guys came, came in and joined him. Press-ups, you could do press-ups in the middle of a street or somewhere. Uh, if uh, this is something that's new to you and you cannot handle social pressure that well, start off with doing something really easy. So you could do just one press-ups in the first day, in the second day you do two press-ups. And then slowly as you get used to that social pressure, you start to increase it. Uh, the reason this, this exercise is really important is because women like a guy that can handle that social pressure that's put onto them when you do the approach. So whether it's in the bar, whether it's in the street, whether it's in the middle of a coffee shop, you're always gonna get other people that look at you when you do the approach, right? And the way you handle that pressure shows that girl that you are a confident person. So that's one attribute that makes you comfortable around women is uh, to be able to handle social pressure really well. All right, if you have any comments, any questions about this video, uh, comment below if you're struggling with your dating life, if you have any sticking points, if you want to get to the next level, I'm giving free advice via WhatsApp and Instagram DMs and you could even email me. You can find my contact details if you click on my website below. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up and share this video with your wing. All right, signing out, Nav.